The leg spin is one of the most difficult bowling arts to master in cricket. Known as the art of spin bowling. It allows for the player to have amazing control over the ball. There is no question that it is one of the most devastating delivery methods. Even though everyone performs it a bit differently. With diligent practice and dedication, you can learn how to master the spin. So, we are going to watch about the how to bowl leg spin. Method 1. Getting ready. First is commit to practice and hard work. In order to master this skill correctly, you need to be willing to practice long and hard. This skill takes work, and if you don't practice hard enough, it will show. Finally, work through the hard period. In the beginning, you may not have any control of your stock ball. You will eventually become better as you continue practicing. Remember to keep spinning the ball hard, even when you are not playing your best, or things seem to be working against you. Keep going. Method 2. Holding the ball. First is grip the ball properly. Hold your first two fingers up, and your last two fingers down. Your thumb, first finger, and middle finger should be straight, with your ring and little finger bent down. Step 2. Place your fingers across the seam. Your first finger, middle finger, and thumb should be curved around the ball. The side of the ball should rest on the bent side of your middle finger. Try to hold the ball softly. If you hold it tightly, your control will be damaged. Finally, cock your wrist. When you go to release the ball, your arm will be straight, and your wrist should be fully bent at your side. You don't want to bend it too hard as you want to keep flexibility. Method 3. Bowling the ball. First is align your shoulders, hips, and feet together. At first, your body should not be facing forward, but turn to the side. Your feet, hips, and shoulders should all be in a straight line at this point. This position allows you to twist your body so you can gain momentum when you go to throw the ball. Step 2. Use your front arm for momentum. Right before you bowl the ball with your bowling arm, lift your front arm up high. Bring your hands together in the gather phase of bowling the ball. Then, use your front arm to swing down and build momentum while you swing your bowling arm around. This will help your bowling arm gain speed as you raise your arm to bowl the ball. Step 3. Rotate your body for accuracy and speed. As you lift your elbow and shoulder up, you will turn your body toward the front by bringing your back foot around. And stepping forward, pivot your front foot to create drive through your hips. Step 4. Bring your arm back. Your bowling arm will swing around by going back and up over your head toward the front. You will need to use your whole arm and shoulder to perfect this motion. Step 5. Release the ball. As you do this, you should unbend your wrist by flicking it over, and straightening your fingers. Allow your third finger to generate an anti-clockwise spin. Your arm will be extended in front of you when the ball releases. The ball will release from the back of your hand near your third finger. Your palm should be faced downwards when your hand finishes. Finally, remember that line and length is important. Try to land the ball about 6 feet from the batting crease to prevent the batsman from picking it. Up. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.